Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and I just want to talk about the Kubernetes dashboard. So the Kubernetes dashboard is an open source application you can deploy to your cluster to provide a UI to view Kubernetes components. And so it looks like this. So when I was first using Kubernetes, I was doing it on AWS, and I launched up um, a cluster on Amazon EKS or AWS EKS, whatever they want to call it. And uh, there, I couldn't see anything. I was just like, where's all the stuff? Where's the UI? Um, and so I was kind of disappointed. I thought maybe AWS's offering wasn't very good, or maybe Kubernetes just doesn't have an interface. But then I realized um, that they just have this UI thing, and you can launch it on any provider that you want. Uh, and it's very easy. It's like a one-liner. But even with um, lightweight distributions like um, Minikube or Micro K8S, you can literally just write like enable dashboard, and you'll get one. Uh, and so you can click around, and you can see... Um, all the Kubernetes components that are running in your cluster. And I just noticed that there's like this create button here at the top. Cause I was, when I'm going through the fall longs, I can't seem to find a way to create resources. So there, it's possible that you can create stuff there. And also when we were talking about earlier, um, about API server, it says interacting with the UI. And I, and I was saying like Kubernetes bat dashboard doesn't let you create stuff. So maybe I just haven't noticed this button here. So maybe it is. Uh, able to create resources there, but I wanted you to, to know about it, and it's part uh, of the Kubernetes project, so it's not like it's a third party. It's totally safe to install um, and use, uh, but there you go.